which is the final stage of World 1. And then Lava's instant kill. I think I almost just ran right in there and that would have been bad. Very bad. Bad, so. And even with a star power up, it, it's still instant kill. You know, so, jump for that. Yeah. If we come up here, you have a little secret. The only propel shroom in the stage is just by, right there. And oh, this, one, this one has it. No. I think those other two have. Rex have one up, if I remember. Yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna assume the other one does. Uh, so, and dry bones is, they'll never, never get old since probably the most common enemy you have to face. Oh, oh God, that was a close one. But I somehow saved it in swamps. But just run fast enough and you'll get by them. By them. Um, and second star going heal. You don't even have to crouch, just stand there and you'll be fine. <laughs> even though your first time playing, you'll probably will have to crouch. Because well, you think you won't get hit, but no, you won't. And we got all the red coins! Link, so where's my so shine sprite? Because, <laughs> well, because, you know, Mario Sunshine. <laughs> and, well, the only way I would just wait for that to go go up, back up, but since I have this propeller shoe, I'm just going over it. Right in. And we're almost at the end of the stage. The only thing, part that's left for us to do now is go down this, be the boss, or we could first go down this pipe and get the third star coin. So. If you don't have the propeller shroom, what you have to do is run and wall jump like that. That's a. I do like how the P switch button carries over into other areas. Like, those weren't originally. Those were originally coins. Coins, but you saw they were bricks. <laughs> it's a little nice detail that I do love. And every boss fight ends. So in the large castle starts in like this large hall this long hallway Kamek what do you want to do but yeah we have to fight the same boss again but with a twist now these platforms move up and down and so that's gonna be the difference and then in a way I find this a little easier because he can just get stuck in there, one of those, and and won't get you, <laughs> as long as you just move out of the way in time. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> I find that, but yeah, you have to fight each Koopa Kid twice, but I don't mind it too much. I, there might be some people that do, but I don't mind it at all. Especially since this is the first time they are in a modern Mario game since... Uh, ever since the last Sodom was in 3D, I mean, not and Super Mario World. Gee, if only we could just fly up there and grab them, them or Peach could just jump down. <laughs> but no, that's not how it works. You got all star coins in World 1! Woohoo! And yeah, now we're in world two. Two here, so yeah. Yeah, so it's a now a, instead of going from left to right, we're going down to up. Cause that's how the map is laid out this time. Now, I could we could keep playing as Mario, but I wanna change things up. Since we have multiple playable characters, which are not just Mario and Luigi, 
but also blue toad and yellow toad. I want to change them up, this up a bit. And swim mode's not connecting right. Hmm. Die. So, since I can't, oh, I actually have to get out of my seat to get this. So I'm working. Hmm. They're working before. I know they can. I've done them earlier. Hmm. Hold on. Let me reconnect these. Oh, so now it does. There we go. <laughs> it somehow switched the control. How did that not count? This one, the one I was using, that makes no sense. That makes no sense. Well, I was using this controller here, but it's not working all of a sudden. Again, don't lie to me, game. What the hell? Hmm. Well, that's just, I don't know what's up with that. Hmm. Alright, well. Let's try this again here. I'm pressing them simultaneously. Duh, I don't know what's up with that. Well, that is something. Hmm, hold on. Let me, there we go. How come that worked, but the other one didn't? Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> But anyway, he, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, anyway, now we have, so, I thought of something that we could do here. Since you can't switch players if you're playing single player, I thought of a little solution. The solution is, we I grab the second controller, and I place that kill too, throughout this. So, how's that sound? And, so, I think that sounds like a good plan. That's what we're gonna do for this. And just get it done. And, oh right. Better do this, because when you press A, A, uh, well, when you press A, when, when, <clears throat> when you're playing co-op, you get the ability to just put the kill to in the bubble. <laughs> which, which, funny thing, you if you bu all players on screen do it, would they it counts as a death yeah kind of stupid but yeah yeah so and all control characters control exactly the same as this and so so how and also how this co-op this is gonna work is I'm gonna be playing the so like for world central playing in world 2 now we're gonna do world Two as Luigi and World Three we're gonna do as Yellow Toad and World Four we're gonna do as Blue Toad. Then we're gonna switch back to Mario and just gonna rinse and repeat it until we get to the end. End here. So actually, no, no, no. Wait, actually, it's not gonna be exactly like that, but it's gonna be something else. And I actually have to reach over to the first controller to activate the stage because. Yeah, that sounds like it's gonna work. Okay, he'll throw you away so that I can easily do this. And interesting spot to put that an item box, but what works on the last as to you, so mm. oh, yeah. yeah, and these sand got guys or things, whatever you want to call it. Mount, whatever you call them, they're always gonna push you up. Uh, up, so let's keep that in mind. Behind you, and and yeah, so for like for most of this LP, you're gonna see Mario and like 
Oh shoot. There we go. Come on. This is kind of probably gonna be harder than I thought. <laughs> because I have to keep using this first controller to navigate the map and put Mario in a bubble. <laughs> wow. Who would have thought this would work? Okay, get your power up. Oh, then, like that. It's nice little desert music and... No drop or jump, but oh, it's good enough. So, yeah, that, that bird started calling me the end here because it's kind of tricky to get. Uh, oh. Here. You know, and also to make it try to make sure I don't actually cheat. Eat and. Eat, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna not have Ma Mario be out like that, uh, because that would just be cheating. Anything, so I'm not gonna do it like that. The only times I think I don't, I won't do it are doing, the, are doing mini bosses. This is on the world map, and we got a first one up house. Whoopee! <laughs> so let's, uh, yeah, the one up. It's always going to appear at the start there, oh. So let's go to that one-up house. And this will be another exception to where I won't have to put Mario in a bubble. Plus, I don't think you can in these. Let me just try it out myself and see. Nope, doesn't work. But you can exit the door here. You can see this little light here. You can just exit through that. Oh, well, this is kind of a little tricky to do because I have to actually move them both at the same time. Even though if one person goes in the door, then... The other one's fine. Oh, right. <laughs> First player. So, we have this one up in many games, which, in my opinion, the best ones of the series. So, well, uh, you just have to diagonally aim and then fire as soon as you get at it. Oh, wow. Almost all of them. Okay. Now, let's do this. Let's see if we can get this last one. So, yeah. mm. Missed. <laughs> Zero up. <laughs> uh, but, oh well, it's good enough. Not uh, good. Plus, this way my lives will just <laughs> reset. Set each time. <laughs> time, so. <laughs> whenever I. For, well, technically not, but you kind of get what I'm saying. So now we're going to this here. Oh, and. The power-up panels here work a little different if you're playing co-op up here. So, how it works is each player gets a turn to pick a panel. So, that didn't go well. I guess the game knows doing this it was a bad idea. Press the two, not one. Well, we got one pair, so we are at least getting something out of this. Kind of awkward to do. <laughs> but at least we're getting something out of this. <laughs> you can hear the Wii remote sound of the speakers coming out of the, the volume coming out of the Wii remotes. Well, we got one mushroom and one mini mushroom. And so, that's something. So now let's, let's go on this way. <laughs> One dash two. When Hutch. Hutch here would has Spike in it. But no, not Spike from Land Before Time or My Little Pony. He would. Yeah, yeah, I do know about the Spike from My Little Pony because that was like around right before I stopped watching that show. Oh, so at least nobody is in Spike from Land Before Time, which only spoke one time in Journey Through the Mist. <laughs> This, which was the fourth movie. And, and that, that spike is what I mean there. That one that spits out the spike balls. Which I, I always found the trouble to get by. Because I could never get by them when I was younger. I mean, like, I could, but it was just hard. But 
Now I can easily do it. All right, so there was that. Add in more. And Mario's just sitting in the bubble, waiting for watching me. Were you like, hey, what are you doing? Oh, and that's another thing, too. Too sad. Any projectiles you shoot, uh, you shoot will cause that to happen. Oh, by the way, where's that shell going? What? We better get it. Yeah, any projectiles you shoot, uh, you launch, and if it hits someone in a bubble, they will pop. Uh, but if it's a fire flower ball or an ice ball, or a shell that you threw. The wind. You know what? You know what? I guess it would be best to have Mario out for this part. Oh, darn it. <laughs> I wanted to do it like this. <laughs> Holy coins! <laughs> and, <we> just get... <laughs> and the sound kept playing. <laughs> but, yeah. Darn it. Okay, I should, let me just do, I should move first and then do that. And by the way, the reason I came down here was press the switch and first star coins here. It's kind of a hidden one, but yeah, you can get it, no problem. Now, if I took that other pipe before I hit the P switch, it would have taken me to a room similar to this part here, but wouldn't have all those spikes there. <laughs> Darn it. It's kind of nice that the spike wheel balls that he throws here will kill all the enemies around. So that's a good. So that's not nearly as bad. Out of you. So that's kind of a good thing. Well, there you go, Mario. <laughs> At this rate, I might as well lose all the lives I got in World 1. <laughs> you know what? It's good. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> she, uh, never mind. I'll just climb the ladder and uh, ladder and vine or being stuck. Nah, it's a, more of a vine. Right, but come up here for the second star coin. And here's some. Yeah, it's real high up in the sky above a scorching hot desert, which. I would love right about now because of this cold weather we're having, especially on, when it's almost Valentine's Day. <laughs> so I think I found my Valentine. It's being finding a scorching hot desert. <laughs> what? Actually, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, come on, you fucking spike. <laughs> worst part about it is that I didn't even. Worst part about it is I have to collect all those star coins again. And because, yeah, I got the checkpoint after I did that, that so that's kind of a bummer. So I'm gonna grab this. But yeah, slowly getting all star coins and there was some background noise going on, so I'm trying to block it out as we do this here. So yeah, that was that. So yeah, that's why if you if you hear any background noise. Also, to clarify, I'm recording this earlier than usual. Well, because, yeah, I was gonna record something else, but the game didn't come today, even though I pre ordered it last Thursday. Thursday, but. Well, well, not yesterday's Thursday, because today's Friday, the day I'm recording this. Is, but, you know what I mean. Of course Mario wasn't the one to get hit. Because look, he was so close to getting hit, but now he's not getting hit. It's um Okay there. Yeah. You can kinda see why I was is the spike here gives me trouble because that <laughs> Okay there I got that shows you I can get the vine without having to you be tall. Yeah, I remember this third star coin here being kind of a tough one to get. 
but it, it, oh man. <laughs> well, luckily I think we can just go back up there and we'll be fine. And then he used to freaking momentum on this. Yeah. Well, okay. Oh, oh no, wait, never mind, we can. First, I wasn't like. Fucking spike! Uh, man, this. I'm. Um, oh, right. I keep pressing the wrong button. Keep forgetting how to switch the controllers out. Okay, you know what? You, oh, you already saw me get Star Coin, so. You know what? I think just to make an exception, just so this doesn't go by as long. Oh. Uh, if I've already collected the Star Coins but didn't clear the stage to doing it, I'll get them off camera. But just so we don't suffer through this as long as we would have. Here, like, I'll, like, I'll try for this star coin here since it's not like too far out of the way. Wait, but... Yeah. Definitely forgot how much tougher stage this was. <laughs> it's good. Tough is not usually the word I would use for this, most of these stages in New Super Mario Bros. We, uh, a more accurate word for, would be memorable. Because... Yeah, this game here just has some of the most memorable stages ever because I can remember pretty much almost all of the stages in the game and where they're located on the maps and such. That could be also that could also be because of years of playing the game game as well. Well, so it that could could be it as well, but I'm not sure. And just even so, I do think these stages are. Very memorable. Okay, you're done. And now we can go into this pipe here. Here and... And what do we find, you may ask? A mini mushroom. And we feed Mario. You know what, here? Let me let, just let him collect the mushroom for the heck of it. If it didn't. Mini mushroom. The controller was pretty much the same as in... In DS, um, that's pretty much. Yeah. yeah, so there's really no difference here. Except, except you still get hit, one hit, and you're done. On which sucks. Uh, hugs, which, hmm. But it makes sense. Why? And that was close, Dale. The reason you need the, the main mushrooms for this pipe. For, plus, this pipe includes the third star coin. Come on. Uh, darn it. I was gonna try to get up there and grab the star coin and then go down for that mushroom. But, oh well. Well, it is what it is. But yet, this is how you, you were supposed to do it. Right here. Right, so, yeah, anyway. No, you don't. Not killing me again. There we go. <laughs> that sounded funny. Who oh, made it? <laughs> yeah, it sounded like a very high-pitched voice there. Or oh, a very squeaky voice. Not high-pitched like this. <laughs> but, yeah. So. So on the one dash... I mean, 2 3, you know, I think not 1 3 because we're on World 2. Ooh, so. So, yeah. Okay, definitely needed to get big after that. Uh, because there was no. Thank God there aren't as many points where you have to use the mini mushroom to get star coins. Coins, which I really appreciate. Eight here, so. Yeah, now we're in a. Dark underground dark level for which it gets annoying. Have with I don't think there were anything like would actually come to think of it. I think this is a new gimmick introduced in the new Super Mario Bros. games where you have these underground dark gimmicks. You can see how dark it is and such. But however, the one thing that's kind of nice is that if you have uh, 
invincibility star. You, it actually lights up the entire room. Room, so that's act. And there, there is some a video of of someone actually going through this level, getting as many one ups as they can. Can as well as, well as with the invincibility star. All right, so now that's kind of a cool thing. Come on, I can fireball. Well, if I'm having this much trouble in World Two, then I'm in for a hell of a ride. Probably because I haven't played the game in so long, even though I briefly touched it not too long ago. Well, actually, it was like three months ago when I last touched. No, no, wait, it was t it was two months actually, not three. three. Because I don't know what I was thinking, but and I briefly touched the game almost a year, pretty much a year ago from now, because because a year ago I made an update video or asked the claim. Claiming where have I been? Cause I've been having some technical difficulties, and me just briefly saying on this, being on the title screen of this game, game here, and I was just briefly on it. It's a way to just for find something random to have on as background mute to keep you entertained as I'm just giving the update. The here and. Yep, that gives you a bunch of one-ups. It's nice that you still get the one-ups in the, in the, even when you're in the bubble, with one person is. So that's good to know, you know. So, yeah, well, again, looking for the star coin to you, and how did that not get, how did I not get hit by that? But hey, now it's in the bright out, so we can and go all crazy. Hey, you like this and use all this. Now we can see what the heck we're doing. Yes, and just keep this train going so that we can get as many as we can. Done it. Uh, if I was fast enough, I would have gotten another one from that one. But yeah, well, you at least you would at least you get to see what it looks, the room looks like with the lights while we on. Too bad there's no supersonic you could use to get the make it brighter in here, cause it's almost like that one, like Lost Labyrinth Act Two, where you have that torch gimmick where it's all dark. Like, but yeah. But, it, but yeah, there's none like that, so the invincibility star is the, the, the closest thing to that. <laughs> right, now that we got that done, let's go on to the mini castle, and we'll probably call it after th this mini castle. You know, because, yeah. If I remember correctly, I think this Koopa's name is Roy Koopa. I remembered in the in the, in the Adventures of Super Mario Three here, the name all the Koopa kids had different names. And well, in that show, this one was named Bowie. Yeah, but who who is so? Oh, this thing here, you have to like tilt and and such. And also, if there are multiple people on this, whoever's the first one on it, or only one on it, will be, be in control of it. Right, which is why you see Luigi's logo there. Yeah, so, is that, so that, that's something I should me didn't should have mentioned, but didn't really come up until now because uh, this one we're actually doing the scenes of certain things that can only happen in co-op. And in this level, the boy is actually shooting at you. Being at you. You would, it's not for the end of the level, it's only for like 
certain aspect points in the level. Oh, so. Yeah. As long as you keep moving, you're fine, and. Fine, and. I think if you're using the I. Yeah. Yeah, actually, it is. Ice flower to will. Or maybe it was the fire flower. I can't remember. Well, one of the two, you can actually. Uh, okay, yeah, but it was ice. And there goes Mario. A bunch of coins up hidden there, but. I missed the all though. But it's alright. Mm. Okay, nope. Done. Let's get on the cone. We did it. It's so, uh, yeah. 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 Now we're both powered up. Even though it's not gonna make a difference because I'm not playing co op. Uh, uh, so, there's it that. And I skipped the star coin. I mean, so. Hmm. Don't know where it was, but. Darn it. I might. I might have to go. F I'll find it off camera, and I'll just say where it is in the beginning of the next episode. Just so we don't have to backtrack, because, uh, plus, I don't think if I were to try to find this star coin here, I would have to probably die. Not uh, here, and that's no good. Good, so. Oh, yeah. yeah. What am I doing? Let me get off the head. That and no invincibility block, <laughs> invisible block, not invincibility block. I pressed up. What the hell? Oh. <sighs> yeah, that sometimes can be annoying. <laughs> but oh boy, oh boy. Well, I'm still in for a hell of a ride here. Oh, there it, that's where the second coin was. Darn it. Well, at least I didn't... At least I didn't bubble Mario. Yeah, but, but yeah, so that's why I don't really want to... That's why I want to keep Mario bubbled. Well, because... Because, yeah, that kind of counts as cheating. Thing, but... Yeah, that's why I'm not really gonna try to do that anymore. Well, I'm also gonna try to be, be more accurate with my hitting blocks here and grabbing onto the these metal thing things here. Here, so yeah, I yeah, so no invisible block here. So let's go in and fight the boss. Oh, make sure you jump at me immediately there, because otherwise his ground pound there will stun you. Okay, I guess we're having Mario involved. Oh, yeah, I thought he was okay. Well, okay, that one didn't go as planned, but fun fact is that if you, if you actually stay in the quick stand there, you can keep this part going as long as you want, and the victory pose and jingle won't come until you get out of the quick stand. So, yeah, kind of a cool thing. <laughs> All the way, somehow we were standing on quick sand and not sinking. But that. Who knows what that could be. But anyway. 
let's save a video and we'll call it a video here video here so next time on new super mario bros we we shall finish up world 2 and maybe go on to world 3 so i'll see you all next time for that, that when that happens it, uh, if that is if i get hold of bowser's theory or not